Hey guys, how's it going? So interesting camera angle today. We're kind of going from the ground up and I'm sitting on a park bench here and I just wanted to, so I was, I was actually staying with a, a good friend of mine from high school and, and university, uh, someone I've known for a very long time. He's a close friend of mine. So I was staying at his house in Brooklyn and we had some you know, really interesting conversations and kind of catching up and stuff. So one of the things, you know, he's always complimented me on, you know, he always says like, you're, you set it up right. Like you set it up, you set up a business and in which you're able to help so many people and you're able to spend so much time with your kids and you know kind of you know do what you want more or less and and I said I know I know like I'm very grateful for that but I also told him that that was my intention from the get-go and you know he's in a job now that I don't think he's really satisfied in and so it got me thinking about you know whatever situation you're in you can always change it it may not happen overnight, but the whole idea is to set an intention, set a goal that you want to work towards. And that's where it all starts. That's really where it all starts. And for me, it started in my mid-20s when I was a personal trainer, training clients from 7 in the morning until 10 at night. And I had a little dog, Jax, you may have seen it in some of my videos. I never saw him. I never saw him. I mean, I would see him a couple, you know, maybe an hour a day and that was it. And I thought to myself, I'm like, wow, if I'm not even see my dog or Amy who was my girlfriend at the time now my wife what's it gonna be like when we have kids and I never wanted that to happen so I set the intention right from the get-go was that I needed to set up my life in a way that works around my lifestyle which is essentially spending time at home with my kids having the freedom to do what I want and more importantly contributing in a way where I'm able to express myself creatively and serve people like you so you know my, my kind of words of encouragement today are that if you want something just decide what it is and that's where it all starts is it's, it's really it's setting that goal and being as specific as you can be right set that goal set that deadline of you know December 31st I will be this or I will achieve this write it down keep it visible to you and believe that you can do it and it helps if you kind of break that goal down into small incremental kind of little goals that you can accomplish along the way it's all about acknowledging and kind of uh, getting those small wins to build your confidence and keep going. So no matter where you are, no matter if you're in like the slums or the depths of earth or you're a cocaine addict and you don't know how to get out of it, there's always a way out. There's always a way out. And I'll be very honest with you, it's not easy a lot of times, but it's worth it. It really is worth it. And it's, you know, we human beings are amazing because we are, we are built, we're hardwired with this kind of goal setting and goal realizing mechanism. So it starts by getting very clear as to what you want and then putting that out there, writing it down, setting a deadline, you know, putting that intention out to the universe and then taking action to make it happen. Again, depending on the size of the goal, it might take a little bit longer than some others, but again, there are no overnight successes. You know, I'm actually, if you've been watching my last couple of videos, I'm here in Los Angeles. I'm actually in Santa Monica. And this is the land of opportunity where, you know, we think of all these celebrities as being these overnight successes, but the reality is that they were, I just let this bus pass by, they were struggling actors or waiters or, you know, stand-up comics in little bars for years before they hit it big time. Jim Carrey, when he came from Canada to LA, was standing on a hill overlooking, um, overlooking the city and he wrote a check to himself for $10 million. He wrote in this check, $10 million. And that was going to be his kind of his signing bonus for the first movie. And that was an intention he had set before he got signed. I believe it was with Dumb and Dumber. And look where he is now. So the power of intention, the power of goal setting cannot be underestimated. Whether it's losing weight, getting you know the body you want, it all starts with setting a goal and being very clear as to what that is. So my challenge to you today is to sit down, take five minutes, and think about a goal that you really want. Write it down, keep it visible, and then start taking action towards it. That's it, that's where it all starts. All right guys, so I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my evening. I hope you do as well, and I'll talk to you soon.